So in order to do this, you need an expansion tool. This is the Everhot Toolkit. There's also battery powered ones if you want to look into those. These are expansion rings. Here's your expansion fittings. This is poly alloy and then this is brass. PEX tubing. It has to be PEX A because PEX B will not um, fix itself after you expand it. And then these are PEX tubing cutters. So you take your expander ring and place it over the tubing. This is half inch tubing so I have a half inch ring. And make sure you get the right head size of the tool and insert it. Expand it a few times until it's open and then insert the fitting. All you have to do after that is just wait until the tubing fixes itself and secures the fitting. So if you don't have your own rings on hand, I'll show you how to make your own. So you just take your PEX cutting tool and then cut it to about this width. Then you just expand it, place it on the tube. You can do this with brass fittings or poly alloy fittings. Poly alloy is lead free and these brass fittings happen to be lead free as well. So as you just saw the expansion system is very simple. If you don't have rings you can use the custom ring like I showed you. It's a little less clean but it comes in handy. And if you want to see all the PEX fittings options I have a video where I explain that. You can click right here and check that out. And remember to subscribe to the channel.